October, November, Christmas. Okay, hi, I'm Echo. Welcome to my wonderful little channel that I got going on here. Also, welcome to the 1st of December. I shouldn't welcome you, you were forced into this. You don't have a choice on what date it is today. So uh, a while back I was approached by a company called CrowdRise and they are an organization that helps organize charity events. And so they're helping me to organize a charity event for this glorious month of December. So welcome to the very first day of this charity art advent calendar. It's an art advent calendar. I need to stop. Every day leading up to Christmas, there is going to be a new video on this channel of a fancy new drawing for you guys to observe with your eyes. Absorb it. Absorb it into your brain. Proceeds from this event are going to be going to To Write Love on Her Arms, which is an American nonprofit organization that aims to help people struggling with addiction, depression, self-injury, and thoughts of suicide. There are so many things about this charity that I absolutely love, so, you know, let's, let's go on this magic ride together. There are two main ways that you can help contribute to this charity fun. One is just watching the videos because a portion of the money earned from these videos is going to be going directly to the charity at the end of December. The other is to donate directly to the charity and that one is involved with prizes. Ooh hoo, fancy. At the end of this event we're going to be picking 10 lucky donors to receive a full pack of the printed signed images from every single day throughout the advent calendar. Art vent calendar. I mean, you can just like plaster it all over your walls or send it to your friends and be like look I got a thing. That's how that's how bragging works. So welcome to the first day of this glorious charity art vent calendar. And let's go start the first drawing. I may have gone a little bit overboard with the Christmas music in this, but that's okay. Since it's the first day, I figured I could do something kind of simple and just explain maybe my general drawing practice. So when I'm drawing, usually the first thing that I'll do is I'll make really, really light pencil marks to kind of get the basic shape of what I want. You can see in this video, I make my lines extremely light to the point where they almost aren't even being picked up on camera. Part of the reason I make my lines this light is so that when I go over my drawings with pen, I can erase the pencil marks and then they won't leave an indentation on the paper. This drawing I actually ended up inking with one of my gel pens, which generally takes a really long time to dry. And then once it's dry, I just erase the pencil marks start adding some color. So this is actually my first time ever using um, watercolor pencils and I actually bought these for another video that's gonna happen in a couple days. But I've got two shades of red that I'm gonna go ahead and try. However, the paper I'm using is actually not watercolor paper, so it's kind of warping. You live and you learn. And then after that, I'm just gonna add some splatter marks. Cute. And then we have it, an adorable little chewy bunny drawing that I just wanted to do for the first day. Something nice, simple. Some of the upcoming drawings can get kind of crazy, so brace yourself. And there we go, an adorable little Chewy drawing. You ready to completely throw off the white balance? Oh yes, check that business out. Behold, drawing number one of 24. So that was fun. This is gonna be a very, very long, long month. 24 drawings, 24 days up to Christmas. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.